into Israeli cities and set up the conditions for the IDF to push them back away from the border. Hezbollah is reeling from this attack and Nasrallah's empire is falling apart. The IDF is operating powerfully and in a targeted manner in Lebanon with the goal of returning the Israeli residents to their homes and negating Hezbollah's capabilities while Nasrallah's deputy escalates the threats, declaring that we have entered the new phase, the battle of the open reckoning. Meanwhile, the IDF force attacked Hamas terrorists who took over a school in the center of the Gaza Strip and the individual in command of the Hamas Naval Commando Unit was eliminated in Gaza City. All of this is taking place against the backdrops of rumors that Hamas leader Yehia Sinwar might have been eliminated in an IDF strike. We have also heard from the Iranian-backed terror militias in Iraq over the past 24 hours as they have fired five drones our way towards Israel, all of which were intercepted outside the Israeli airspace. Let's dive into the details. I'm Yair Pinto and this is your Boots on the Ground report about what is happening in Israel on the 353rd day of the war against Hamas, Hezbollah, the head of the axis of evil in Iran, and all of its terror proxies in Yemen, Iraq, and Syria. Before we start, please take a minute to find the subscribe button and click on it so that together we can spread the truth as far as possible and that you will never miss another episode of Boots on the Ground. IDF spokesman Rear Admiral Daniela Gari commented on the wave of IDF attacks in Lebanon this morning, stating that they will continue in the near future. He added a word of explanation, saying that for more than 20 years, Hezbollah has distributed IEDs inside homes and armed them, thus turning South Lebanon into a fighting space. He also showed a surveillance video of a civilian home that had been converted into a rocket launching site endangering the residents of the village. He added a direct message to the residents of these villages that the IDF was going to destroy more of these sites that Hezbollah had built inside their homes and he urged them to quickly evacuate these areas for their own safety. This is war in precise targeted moves and it is the strategy of the IDF on the Lebanese border in this phase of the conflict, both in recent days and going forward. It is a direct result of the directive that the IDF has received from the political echelon to return the residents of the northern communities to their homes as part of the objectives of the war. The Home Front Command has warned residents of Israel that this will be a difficult day and the cabinet was scheduled to meet at IDF headquarters in Tel Aviv on Monday evening at 7 p.m. This IDF offensive comes after almost a year in which the IDF has conducted a mainly defensive campaign in the north, holding Hezbollah off while the main offensive effort was in Gaza. However, many steps were taken to erode Hezbollah's capabilities and prepare the ground for a possible offensive. This included assassinating over 300 senior field commanders and operatives in targeted strikes, destroying rocket launchers and ammunition depots, and disrupting communication networks. Now, that operation has shifted into a higher gear and Hezbollah is struggling to keep up, although they have increased the scale of reach of their rockets that they fire into Israel. The hope is that Hezbollah will quickly understand that it is in a fight that it cannot win and agree to back off, stop firing weapons into Israel and retreat back north of the Litani River as quickly as possible. But if they can't or don't make this decision, the IDF will continue to destroy them. As Chief of Staff Major General Herzi Alevi said last night in Tel Nof, Hezbollah will receive a blow and another blow until it understands. In any case, Israel has already done very significant damage to Hezbollah's Radwan force, which was designed to invade the Galilee communities and carry out massacres as Hamas did on October 7. In recent days, many of the terror commanders of this Radwan force have been eliminated by IDF strikes, further degrading the ability of this organization and this unit particularly to carry out its mission. However, Hezbollah is not completely helpless and they have also increased the intensity of the barrages of rockets into Israeli communities, causing significant damage but few casualties. Hassan Nasrallah's deputy, Naim Qasim, 
gave a fiery speech yesterday at the funeral of Ibrahim 